I chose to use a third grade earth science standard, which is 3.E.1, um, and that is students learning to observe the properties and patterns in the solar system. And for my resources, I chose to include three right here. I started with a picture of the solar system as my background, just because I feel like it's an interesting picture that draws you in. Uh, my first resource is this information button right here, and it takes you to the NASA Solar System Exploration website. And so you see the date and time up here, and you can get a live view of the solar system right now. And as you can tell, I'm interacting with it, and I'm clicking around on these different planets right here. And it'll take you to the information. And it can show you little facts about it. You can click around and see the planets and the moons and just get facts. And it really is good for students to use because it's interactive and it allows them to feel like they're exploring and finding out this information on their own. Plus, it is from a very reliable source. My second resource is this video, Introduction to the Solar System, and I'm only going to play a little bit of it since it's about four minutes long. But this basically is just going to give them a preview of the solar Come system and give them a basic introduction. Leave with more than... Hey friends! Wondering where I am, right? Well, I am in space. And do you know what that is? That is our galaxy, and it's called the Milky Way. Do you see that? That bright light is our solar system. That's where we live. Come, let's take a closer look at our solar system. Zoom in! This is how our solar system looks like, with planets revolving around the sun. The sun is the main source of light for all the planets. Our solar system has eight major planets. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to... As you can see, that's just really an introduction to the basics of the solar system, which is really what I want my students to be looking at right now. I don't want to overwhelm them with too much information because this is the first thing they're learning about the solar system. So it's good because it gives a good foundation. And my last resource is this infographic right here of the planets of the solar system. So when I click on it, it gets bigger and you can see the actual order that all the planets are in and I like this one because it's bright and has colors that really catches the attention of students and it's simple yet includes something really important which is the order that they are in and I really liked all of these resources because I feel like it's a good way to deliver an introduction of a standard and that is exactly what I'm teaching so I think using this particularly will be great because it's engaging and gets students to be able to do something interactive as opposed to me standing at the front and just playing a video for them or talking about the topic. They really get to feel like they're being creators of their own learning.